Dorothea Dix Park was filled with music, colors, dancing today as the second annual intertribal powwow kicked off. CBS 17's Dina Harley was there as tribe members explained why this day is so important. A day of dancing, community, and culture. I have an opportunity here working with the conservancy in the city of Raleigh to basically give a platform to Native people and Native people to be able to come together and just enjoy time with each other and just to celebrate our culture. Raleigh's second annual intertribal powwow brought dozens of people out to Dorothea Dix Park. We're just thrilled that all eight tribes have, you know, come together and can celebrate in this place and that the community is celebrating the presence of Native Americans here and all they contribute to our community. Tribes could show off their outfits, handmade goods and dancing, but non-Native community members were also invited to the park to learn about the different cultures. So I think a lot of uh, Native American tribes feel like everybody thinks, oh, they're all out west. And we have one of the highest populations of Native Americans in North Carolina, east of the Mississippi. A lot of people think of, um, talk about Native people in a, a past tense, and we're currently living here, participating and uh, active members of society, and we contribute to so much. And the actual spot of the powwow in Wake County was significant. Native Americans. Um, you know, roamed this land and, and were on this land before any of us. And so we're just really honored and proud that um, the Native American communities can celebrate here. Native members say when the powwow ends and everyone goes home, they want non Native community members to continue building connections. Include us in um, their communities, their gatherings, can include us in um, the way they think about policies or in, in any way possible. So Dina Harley, CBS 17 News.